to help you understand what we mean by moral insight, typically, so this is, you can see in the middle is our three steps of positive leadership, right? So the excellence in the virtue, followers feel other praising emotions and they follow. On the outside of this, you see people feel pressure to conform to social norms. And so that tends to reduce excellence in virtue. It makes people perform virtue at normal levels, right? As rather than excellence. So there's this negative arrow that says, you know what? Leadership isn't that common because most of us spend most of our time conforming to social norms. And that's okay. That's what maintains order in society. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But when we exhibit that excellence, then sometimes, usually not with just one episode of leadership, but with multiple episodes of leadership, those norms might change. Okay? The problem is, is if most of us conform, sometimes not even realizing we're conforming. When I come and stand too close to you, you don't think, should I question myself about whether that person is standing too close to me? You just turn your head and say, that guy's too close to me, right? And so as a result, <clears throat> we don't think about it and we need some kind of insight to make us think differently before we can even engage in leadership. And since it's an insight about virtues, then what we argue is that you need moral insight.